Folks, today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we're going to head into Mucho Mexican Restaurant. Dawn, are you ready? I am ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this place used to be called Don Marco's Kitchen. And it was kind of like an Italian vibe. Um, it had pizza, I remembered. It had these garlic bread knots or breadsticks. I remember very well. And I, I remember the food being pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. I thought the prices were, were reasonable. Mucho Alegre. <laughs> Allegri. Allegri. I probably said that wrong. Anyways, um, so Mucho Mexican Restaurant is now the new name. Now, I hear the owners are the same. Um, and it, it, now it says it's a Mexican restaurant. Now, the owners who own this, they own a bunch of other Mexican restaurants in the area. One of the things I remember last time was the music was really loud in there. I just remember it being really loud. I don't know if it's going to be like that today. Uh, this used to be a Ruby Tuesdays way, way back in the day. And then, um, so yeah, let's go in. Let's see what this is about. I'm excited for it. They have tacos and quesadillas and street tacos. They have burritos, classic dinners, enchiladas, taco salad. So they brought out some salsa, some nice little bowls to put it in, and the chips. So I'm going to get the chorizo pollo, which is tender grilled chicken breasts, and uh, chorizo topped with uh, cheese dip served with rice and beans and, and tortillas. Donnie's gonna get the carne estada, which is grilled steak served with rice, beans, tomatoes, onions, lettuce, avocado, tortillas, and jalapenos. And the salsa is really, really thick. What do you think so far? It's good. It's chunky. It's thick. It's amazing. Yes, yeah, so we walked in. They sat us down immediately. Everybody has been really, really good. Uh, the salsa is amazing. Probably some of the best um, I've had in the area. Wouldn't you say? It's like okay. homemade. Uh, very chunky. Very, very good. And the chips are very good as well. So, so far, so good. Now, we did order some queso. I want to try their queso. So the queso is here and it's served in this really cool like uh, Spanish bowl. Very, very cool. Piping hot. He brought out some more fresh chips for us to dip into and let's go ahead and try the queso. Oh, so it's, um, oh wow, actually it broke. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. It'll thicken. Look how runny it is. It's a little bit spicy, just a tad, but not overpowering. The cheese is pleasant. It's a little on the runny side, but I think as it cools down, it's gonna thicken very, very good. Um, yeah, and I would say it's about average than the other quesos in the area. So, and they give you quite a bit. I mean, that's that's a lot of cheese. I'm gonna probably 
use this a little bit on my uh, chorizo. Here's my chorizo, some chicken, I got some beans, some rice, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, a little bit of queso on top. So this is your carne estada. That's all your steak over there. You got a little bit of jalapeno, yeah. uh, onion. Okay. You got um, beans and rice and avocado, a little bit of tomato. Uh, the one thing I noticed is it looks like your steak is well done, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It does look pretty well done. Here, I'll cut yeah, go ahead and see what that's like. Is it? Hopefully it's not like shoe leather. <laughs> all right, so yeah, that's pretty much basic carne estada. It's okay. It's okay? Is it like a little bit overdone? Yeah. Yeah. It kind of looks like it from here. Over here we have our flour uh, tortillas. I'm trying. What does the beans and rice taste like? Put mix a little bit in there and again, a little beans, a little rice. The rice tastes like it's mincing. They got an old onion over there. The old onion. <laughs> avocado. Avocados are good. Ooh, it looks good. The avocado looks really, really good, doesn't it? Beans and rice, rice and beans. The Spanish rice is a little bit off. Tastes a little blah, like not enough seasoning, and it's and it's kind of on the undercooked side. Um, the chicken is nice, moist, you gotta cut it. When we walked in, the atmosphere was really good. Place is super clean, right? Um, the staff in there was very friendly, very friendly. Uh, we, we were sat down immediately. Um, what do you think about the, the the salsa and chips? The chips and salsa was good. I felt that the chips were probably one of the best chips in the area. Yeah. The salsa was probably one of the top salsas in the area. The queso, I would say, is about average as other, any other place. I will say one thing. I did see people ordering tacos, and the tacos looked good. Yeah. They did look good. First off, Dawn, what did you think about your carne estada? It was overcooked, and I don't know, it, it wasn't that much flavor to it. And the yeah. beans and rice, nobody was eating the beans and rice. So the beans and rice, uh, the, be, the the rice was kind of hard still. Um, yeah. Didn't have any flavor. The beans were nothing special, nothing, anything, you know. Uh, not no spices nothing really and it was kind of um, and then we were talking about this that we noticed that as the staff was clearing tables nobody was eating their beans and rice you could see where they kind of maybe tasted yeah. it and that was it <laughs> so i don't think we were the only ones on that and nobody was getting a to-go box and i was tr i'm trying to be fair with yeah. this review I, you know and i was and at that moment i was looking around to see what everybody else had what everybody else was looking um and anyways, yes, definitely your jalapeno was burnt. Yeah, I couldn't, there's no way I was going to eat that. Your... Onion was burnt. Your onion was burnt. Your, 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 and they never ask you what temperature you want your steak. I, I would imagine, mm -hmm. you know, most, most Mex Mexicans, uh, Tex-Mex restaurants don't ask that. It was burnt. <laughs> it was well overdone. It was like shoe leather. It was like beef jerky. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. Um, as for mine, I share the same thoughts with the beans and rice. They're still, they're still on the plate sitting on the table. <laughs> we didn't take anything home. No. We always take whatever is la nope. left over. Home. Not today. We, we didn't take it home. We just didn't want anything to do with it. 
Um, and this is hard for us. I don't like doing reviews like this. And it happens. It happens. The trezo was burnt. It was. Uh, it was just. It was dried out. It was like. Um, I don't know how to say it. It just. It was spicy. It was salty. <laughs> Which trees are supposed to be a little bit salty. Yeah. But this is just crazy. It was just crazy beyond. Um, the, the the chicken was okay. The chicken was fine. It was a little rubbery. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. So let's get to our number system on it. I think this will kind of tell. Um, I'll go first. <laughs> I give the rice a three to four at best to three and four at best um, I will say that at least it was it was hot so um, I'll give it that uh, the trezo I'm going to give it a one it, it was that bad the chicken I give it a five the chips I will give a nine the chips were good I will also give a nine for the salsa and I will give the queso about a seven because it was about average um, pretty much I'm imagining they're using the same base as anybody else in the area what are you gonna give yours the steak of uh, uh, probably a two the rice and beans a one wow you're even lower than me and um, the chips and salsa were eight so here's a big question we always asked on you do mucho again no but so many other choices in town probably not that's our review for today. Um, they can't always be winners. Yeah. Um, you gotta note though that sometimes it just might be a bad day. Could have been just a bad day. It could be a bad day. It could have been that they were scraping the bottom of things when we come in. Um, it, it, your experience might be totally different than our experience. Yeah. Whenever we do restaurant reviews, we are only giving you a review on our experience at this given moment. Tomorrow could be a whole different experience. I think this place is better than this. And that's the reason why I really don't want to give this review because I think this place could do better. Folks, that's going to do it for today here in Sevierville, Tennessee. If you like this vlog, also if you haven't, please subscribe so don't miss these upcoming. Smoky Mountain Ventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Bye everyone.